Earnings season is officially upon us, and we have some top dividend growth stocks making massive moves. ASML Holdings, ticker symbol ASML, is selling off big time after reporting earnings on Tuesday. The company is now down nearly 40% from its July high of $1,098. It fell 15%, followed by 6.6% today. In today's video, I'm going to break down this earnings news for ASML and give a full stock analysis on the company. On top of that, I'll analyze three other dividend growth stocks that are reporting earnings this week, and some of them may be worth adding to your portfolio. Let's roll the intro. My name is Zach, this is Dividend Data, and you should leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the video. Throughout, I'll be using my stock analysis tool over at DividendData.com, which is designed specifically for dividend investors. And some of what I'm going to discuss today, I teased earlier this week in my email newsletter. So click the link in the description in the pinned comment if you want help finding better dividend stocks. All right, so let's start with ASML, which is a great business. They are a leader in semiconductor manufacturing equipment technology, specifically in lithography. They have a massive competitive advantage in that space, with some going as far to say that there could be a monopoly, and over the past decade that has led to great stock performance and earnings growth for the company. But what happened to drive the stock price down? Let's look into it. On the surface level, earnings looked good. Revenue for Q3 2024 came in above expectations by 5%. Additionally, earnings per share for Q3 came in at $5.80, which was 7% above estimates. They had strong financial performance in the quarter, and outlook for Q4 was very strong. They're expecting total net sales to be between 8.8 .8 billion euros and 9.2 billion euros. So on the low end, that's about $8 billion USD, which is ahead of their Q4 2023 and far ahead of this recent Q3. So everything appears to be looking good at the company. Their financials came in great with high gross margin, a good outlook for Q4, and they even have a very large backlog of orders that will take time to fulfill. However, there was one line in the Q3 results that seemed to send the stock down. They had net bookings in the quarter of 2.6 billion euros, and this was far below expectations. Analysts were expecting Q3 bookings of 5.39 billion euros, and this demonstrates a slowdown in demand all the way back to Q3 2023 levels. Now, it's important to note that Q3 may just be a slow point in the year, and I wish they had more historical data on this slide. However, this is a notable slowdown from Q2, Q1, and last Q4. So I think the real number that will determine which way ASML stock goes is when they report Q4 what that net bookings number is. If it goes back up to this 9 billion euro range, then this may be a great time to buy ASML stock. However, if this is the start of a real trend downward in terms of demand, then you may want to wait longer before buying into ASML. And I do believe that they could see a slight trend downward. And the reason why is that ASML sells to semiconductor manufacturers. They make the equipment. So anytime there is new construction and new fabs being built, that's good for ASML. Also replacing old equipment with new equipment. And for example, a company like Intel has been investing massively over the past few years into building new fabs, and they have been getting the cutting edge equipment from ASML. However, Intel is facing major financial troubles, which I have covered so much on this channel. And because of that reality, they're going to have to cut back slightly on their manufacturing ambitions. Now, they're still spending like drunken sailors because all these projects are still in construction, but it doesn't really shock me that new bookings could be on their way down. And in pretty much every category of semiconductors other than AI, we're not really in a boom time. That is really only happening in chips designed for AI, which is only a part of the market. Now, to be fair, we will know a lot more about chip demand when TSMC reports earnings tomorrow morning. So that will definitely be a big factor in terms of moving semiconductor stocks. That said, ASML may have now fallen enough in stock price that it's an attractive buy regardless. The company is currently trading at a 35 PE ratio with a $6.57 annual dividend, giving it a 0.96% starting dividend yield. The revenue per share has grown at a 19% 10-year compound annual growth rate. Net income per share is growing at a 21.87% 10-year compound annual growth rate. Free cash flow per share has seen similar growth, except it has declined in 2022 and 2023. I will have to look into the exact causes for that. ASML does seem to have relatively high capital expenditures, around $500 million a quarter, which would account for that difference. I haven't dived super deep into 
to ASML's business, so I don't know why capital expenditures have doubled over the past two years. The company is in strong financial position with negative net debt, and historically, this is a company which returns capital to its shareholders via dividends and share repurchases, and this does increase every single year with it slightly weighted towards share buybacks. And despite the inconsistent frequency, ASML is a dividend growth stock. They went from annual payments to semi-annual and now more recently to quarterly. And yes, the payment does fluctuate up and down, but some of that is related to currency as they are an international company, not in the US. But over the long run, dividends have grown at ASML and it is sustainable too. The current payout ratio based on net income is around 30%. However, with this recent decline in free cash flow, the dividend payout ratio is closer to 72%, so still sustainable, but getting in that upper range. And by the way, you can see the dividends paid over the trailing 12 months have increased from $1.04 in 2016 all the way to $5.96 in 2023. And when free cash flow per share was very high in 2021, the free cash flow based payout ratio was as low as 13%. But the big thing that will determine the future returns and dividend growth of ASML is their future share earnings per share. Analysts are projecting very high growth for ASML into the future. In 2025, they're expecting 41% growth in earnings per share, followed by 16% in 2026, 29% in 2027, and 29% in 2028. That puts the 2028 P ratio based on current prices at 11.96. And if they can accomplish those numbers, then ASML stock may be a steal after this recent sell-off. The consensus price target among Wall Street analysts is $954 per share. That makes it 40% undervalued at the current stock price. In fact, the lowest price target on Wall Street is $665. That is only slightly less than the current $681 stock price. Currently, 70% of analysts have it rated a buy with 5.88% having it a strong buy and 23% having it as a hold. But that's not the only news for dividend growth stocks coming up this week. On Thursday before market open, there are three dividend growth stocks reporting earnings, which I think are worth looking at and possibly adding to your portfolio. First is Snap-on Incorporated, ticker symbol SNA. This is an industrial stock making manufacturing tools. The company has simply put been a dividend growth machine. And earnings per share has shot up consistently quarter after quarter like a rocket. Honestly, this is one of the most impressive and consistent growth rates I have seen. Revenue per share is growing at 7.6% 10-year CAGR, and free cash flow per share is growing at a 29% 10-year CAGR. Shareholder equity continues to grow, and they basically have flat net debt. The current dividend payment for SNA stock is $7.44 per share. That gives it a 2.49% dividend yield, and this is a quarterly payer with a 10-year compound annual dividend growth rate of 15.51%. The most recent dividend increase was 14.81% and the one prior to that was 14%. So this is a pretty amazing combination of starting yield with dividend growth. 2.49% plus 14% dividend growth. And it's very sustainable too. The current payout ratio based on free cash flow is 33% and based on net income that's 35% and it is consistently in this sustainable range. And this company does not trade at an outrageous valuation at all. Earnings per share over the trailing 12 months is $19.25, giving it a 15.5 P ratio at current prices. Analysts are projecting 3% earnings growth in 2025 and 5% in 2026. And the consensus price target is $301 per share, which puts it at fair value. But given the historical trends, I'm wondering if analysts are just wrong here about the future of Snap-on Incorporated. I definitely have this stock on my watch list and I may be adding it to my portfolio. Another stock reporting earnings this week is Elevance Health, ticker symbol ELV. This is a healthcare company in the United States, which has seen strong performance in both stock price and earnings per share growth. And similar to UNH, which is a popular dividend growth stock, this may be another one to add to your portfolio if you want exposure to healthcare. The current annual dividend payment is $6.52 per share, which gives it a 1.31% dividend yield. It's a quarterly payer with a 14% 10-year compound annual growth rate. The most recent increase was 10 percent with the one prior being 15.62 percent. The dividend is extremely sustainable with a 20 percent free cash flow payout ratio and 23 percent net income payout ratio. And again, this has been as low as 10 percent in 2020. And it's projected from analysts to have high earnings per share growth in the coming years. By 2028, they're projecting it to have $57.82 in estimated earnings per share. That would give it an 8.5 P ratio at current prices. 
8.5. The current price target among Wall Street analysts is $555 per share, which makes it 11.85% undervalued at current prices. So again, this is another one to add to your watch list. And finally, we have another stock reporting earnings this Thursday, which is Marsh and McLennan Companies, ticker symbol MMC. This is an insurance business. Stock price growth has been very strong over the past decade, along with earnings per share growth. The current annual dividend payment is $3.26 with a 1.43% dividend yield. It's a quarterly dividend payer with an 11% 10 year compound annual growth rate. The most recent increase was 14.7%, with the year prior being 20%. And likewise, this is a very sustainable dividend payment with a 33% payout ratio based on free cash flow and 34% based on net income. Analysts are projecting high earnings per share growth over the coming years, which will result in continued high dividend growth. The consensus price target among Wall Street analysts is $195, which is 14% overvalued at current prices. Prices, but still, this is an interesting one to look at. But in conclusion, the two best stocks I saw today were ASML and SNA. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video, and sign up to use the best stock analysis tool for dividend investors, DividendData.com. That is the exact tool I used throughout the video today. Also, you can get that earnings calendar tool I used throughout the video on the sidebar of DividendData.com for free, or click the link in the description and pin comment. Thanks for watching.